Hello students, welcome back to Sigma Physics Online. Let's straight away go to today's question. So the next question is a numerical from electricity chapter and it goes like this. 50 joule of heat is produced each second in a 2 ohm resistor. Find this potential difference across the resistor. Okay, so here we have been given that there is a resistor and for every second 50 joule of heat is produced and we have to find out the potential difference across this resistor. Okay, so let us understand the concept. How will we solve it? This let's first draw the circuit diagram. So here we have a 2 ohm resistor which is connected to a source of potential difference and this resistor in this resistor 50 joules of heat is produced in each second per second. So we have to find out what is the potential difference across this resistor. It's given here joule 50 joules of heat per second. So if I write here heat per heat is produced per second heat means here which is heat energy right. So it is heat energy by time. Now what is heat energy by time? So we know energy by time is power because power is the rate of consumption or dissipation of energy. So I write here power is equal to energy by time. Energy by time. So now here what is the energy that is produced? It is 50. So 50 joules in time is 1 second. So 50 joules per second is 50 joules per second is what? So it is 50 watt. So power rating of this resistor is 50 watt. So this resistor power rating is 50 watt. Now we'll find out what is the potential difference across this resistor. So we know power is given by power P is equal to VI. And I is equal to V by R. So power is V square by R. So using this formula we will solve this question. We have power is 50 watt. And the resistance is given as 2 ohm. So substituting these values in this equation. We write here V square would be power into the resistance. So power here is 50, resistance is 2, so it is 100, so V is under root of 100 which is 10 volt. So from this we know that the potential difference V across the resistor is 10 volt. So I hope you have understood this solution. Thanks for watching. Bye.